This is my very first published photo and I didn't get paid for it, but still a very proud moment. And I think it says here, what does it say? 2013, so seven years ago. And yeah. You guys have asked me this question a few times, so I have to make a video about it. Now, first I was gonna title this video, how to get your photos published in a magazine or something like that. But you can try and get your photos published without getting paid or you can try and make some money. And it doesn't matter if you're a professional or an amateur, the thing is you always hear that you shouldn't work for free because this and that. And I don't know if that's really true. For me, it was definitely worth it to get my photos published without getting paid. So I'll tell you about my experiences with both. And I have one specific tip also, one specific tip, maybe a little bit controversial, but it helped me a lot. Let's start with getting your photos published without getting paid. Now, should you work for free? Difficult question. I mean, I think it depends. If a company comes to you and asks you if you can take some photos or they want to use your photos, then definitely don't do it for free. Some companies try to take advantage of beginning photographers and they'll tell you that you will get exposure and things like that. But I mean, when those companies come to you, it means that your photos are good and they like them, so you should be getting paid. Also, when you go to a company and you offer your photography services and they tell you, yeah, sure, you can do it for exposure, then just walk away because that won't help anyone. But what I did many times after I graduated as a photographer was send my work to specific websites and magazines for a publication. Now, I knew before I sent my work that they wouldn't pay me because it said so on the website or the submission form. So I knew that, but I don't consider that working for free because it's a specific kind of photography websites and communities and magazines. Now, first of all, it doesn't mean that those websites and magazines are poop and publish crappy photos because the standards are really high and there are a lot of excellent magazines and websites out there who will publish your work without paying you for it. Now, you'll probably think that I did it for exposure then, right? Well, at first, yeah, but I soon realized that I wasn't going to get exposure by sending my work like that because there are so many photographers who are doing the same. So if that's your motivation, then don't do it. So why did I keep doing it then? Well, I think it's a great way to find out what you like to do, to develop your style, to find your style. Basically, to find your place in the photography world, the photography business. You can start a photography business and just take any job they throw at you and do whatever to pay the bills, but I don't know, seems like a struggle to me. I think it's a better idea to get a job that pays the bills, maybe half time, and then freelance on the side. And then sending your work to those photography magazines and websites is a great way to build your portfolio because you want to keep creating new work so you can send it out. And at the same time, you can try to find out what kind of photography you like to do, what you're good at, and also what the people in the photography business think of your work. Which photos do they like better? And then you can fit all those puzzle pieces together and find your place in the photography world. Because it's not easy anymore to start a freelance photography business, even if you just take any job that they throw at you. So trying to get your work published for free like that is a great way to stay motivated and to improve your work, to develop your style. And also you start building a network, which is really important for when you do want to get paid for published work. And I'll tell you about that later. Now, how do you get your work published like that? Well, simple. Start looking for magazines, websites, communities that you like and that publish work that's similar to yours. And then just start pitching your work. Now, don't think it's easy because it took me a long time to get my first photo published. 20 emails, 30 emails, trying out different pitches, different work, you know, yeah, it takes a lot of time. And I can't really tell you how you should do it because it depends on your work and which websites, which magazines, but if you're persistent, then you have a good chance of getting your work published. I'll link some of the magazines and websites that published my work in the past in the description and maybe you can give it a try. The main idea with these free publications is that you stay in inspired and motivated and find out what you like. Improve your work, build your portfolio. 
this is a whole different ball game guys getting your photos published and make money what can i tell you i can't tell you again how you should do it it depends on so many different things but i'll tell you my experiences first of all network 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 you need to connect with people the best and easiest way to get your work published and make money is when you have clients magazines companies who will come to you you know them, they like your work, you like their work. They say, we need a photo or a story, can you do it for us? So you need a network of people in the photography business and it's not easy when you're starting out. It's difficult to find a balance between sending your portfolio all the time to potential clients, but also creating new work every day. Because you have to stay motivated and it takes a long time to build that network. You won't see results the first months. After I graduated, I sent hundreds of emails without response. But once you get the first one, it gets easier. So that's what I think right now is the most important thing if you want to get your work published and get paid. A network and I have a tip for you that that worked for me. It might be a little bit controversial. I don't know, but here it is. So. It's really easy to find companies and magazines, whatever, to send your work to. You can find their email address on their website, but the problem is that usually it's just a general email address, info at randomcompany.com. And in my experience, when you send your work to email addresses like that, your chance of getting a response is even lower. What you need to do is find the people who are responsible for hiring photographers. And what I used to do was go on the internet, find those names on the website or at the bottom of an article that they wrote. And then, well, you can try and guess the email address, firstname.lastname at randomcompany.com, or you can use a website like hunter.io, where you can find email addresses based on the domain name i mean i don't know is that controversial is that okay to do i don't know but it helped me a lot it's a lot easier to get a response when you send a personal email to a personal email address and not the general company address so that for me is the most important thing you need to do if you want to get your work published and get paid for it find those specific people. Not a company, not a magazine, but a specific person within that company. So you can send a personal email. That's the secret, actually, I think. Make those personal connections. And then once you found them, send your portfolio, introduce yourself, and maybe it's the start of something because you need those people who will eventually come to you to get a job done. And you can't wait for them to come to you. You have to find them first. Another Another way to get your work published is similar but the other way around, selling your story. You have photos or a story or maybe just an idea and you want someone to publish it. Now building a network is hard, but once you have it and people come to you, it gets easier. Selling your own ideas and your own story is a lot harder to do, especially when you're new to everything. It involves again sending a lot of emails, but you also have to get lucky that someone is looking for a photo series like yours at the moment that you send it to them. And while it is possible, it's a lot easier when you already have that network that I talked about before. So both these ways of getting your work published go hand in hand. That's why I've always combined both. First, connect with people, get your name out there, your website, your blog, your Instagram, sending emails, whatever, just find something that works for you. But also keep creating new work and try to send it out. Try to sell it, pitch it, and how easy or difficult that is depends on where you live, what kind of photographer you are, and what you expect from all this. Because just because you like to take high-end fashion photos and you're really good at it, doesn't mean you're gonna make a lot of money. And just because you make obscure documentaries, doesn't mean you're gonna have to live in a cave to pay the bills. So it all comes down to knowing what you want, find out what you want, and work hard towards that goal. It's really difficult these days, but most people give up. So if you don't give up, then you have a chance to make it. That's really important. And getting your work published with or without getting paid, it will both help you. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.